You're right there guys, what's good? Welcome back to the Ultimate RTG. And I know what it looks like. Makaleli out the door. Nedved, where did he come from? Ramos, Griezmann have all been sold. And I need to explain myself because if you're a fan of the FIFA 17 RTG, you will remember this name, George Best, the legend. He was a legend on FIFA 17, and he was one of the best players I've ever used on the game. The finesse shot was just perfect. There is no other words to explain it. Perfect finesse shot. And I have brought him back because I'm wanting a change, and I'm wanting something that excites me when I'm playing in the weekend league. I don't just want to be using the same players over and over again. And that's what this series is about. Doing well in the weekend league, testing out cards, and making it exciting for you guys watching. Because Makaleli, he's very, very good, but it's a boring purchase. Like, he is great at what he does, but there's nothing really more to it. I'm going to be bringing in Kante. And I know I was saying Makaleli is the better player, which I still stick by and say that's true. I want to put it to the test. How is Kante really going to step up in a similar side for this weekend? I want to compare the two. Just to put it to bed, to really finalize, is Makaleli the better player? Or can you really get away with using Kante? There's a fraction of the price. But Nedved, right. So the idea was to bring him in for this weekend. And I played, what was it, like four or five games in Div Rivals last night with the guy. And his pace is nice. His shooting is perfectly fine. He was able to finesse it with both feet because he has a five-star weak foot. And he even has the outside of the foot trait, which is great in some situations. The passing was lovely with the vision. His dribbling is what lets him down. He isn't an actual skiller or dribbler. He reminds me a little bit like a KDB, where the control on the ball is great, and then he's firing shots outside the box. But if you're really wanting to like skip past players, he doesn't have that control like Griezmann. So I thought, right, as I have sold Makaleli and I'm prepared to sell Nedved so soon, who can I bring in? George Best. I had to. I want to bless the account with that man. I loved him from FIFA 17. So I haven't played any games yet with this 88. We're going to jump in some Div Rivals and see what he can do. And then the situation with Ramos is that I was needing to sell him to afford George Best. I'll purchase him back for this weekend or if there are any other players that you could recommend maybe i can change out the left hand side but i really want ramos because he's so good defensively and in the attack griezmann i wanted just to switch it up a little bit i was planning on using dibala and i still am but there could be other players to bring in and then I was doing a few like bronze pack methods uh, last night, getting some uh, getting some easy coins. I've got to go and unlock one of the foot swap cards. I want to go and uh, speak to you about some of the new releases. We've got a Jinyak. Uh, we have um, some stuff going on with the account. So please do leave a like if you're enjoying this series and let's get into it. So I don't really think it's a good idea for us to unlock the flashback Danny Alves on this account because it's going to set us back 250,000. I don't know how much use I'd get out of him and then using untradables towards like these packs here i don't feel comfortable doing that i'd rather keep hold of them use them for footmas or just later on down the line if they do release an icon sbc and i don't even think they're going to be releasing that baby icon one i believe that ea like the fact that the icon market is so high because if people do start investing quite a bit into it and then in time they drop like an icon when we don't expect it a lot of people will lose money and i think that's what they're preying on right now because with investing and just trading like taking off fifa 18 it was building up a bit of hype fifa 19 it was seriously big and there are some like huge like content creators that are influencing others to help them create uh and well generate coins which is fair enough uh, but then ea are noticing this and they're paying attention and they don't really want to play into the hands of these traders that's why i think that they're restricting some of the content that they're bringing out on the game which is like understandable from like a business point of view because they want to like cash out on fifa point purchases and stuff like that they just don't want us to make coins put it that way but for them to restrict content based on what traders are doing like they're entitled to play the game how they like so it's a bit of a weird one right now and that's why i believe that there isn't really much content going on with icon sbcs but in the next uh, 10 days i believe that this one here is expiring yeah, 10 days, the prime icon set three. So if they don't replace that with an icon set four, then God knows what's happening. And I wouldn't 
hold your breath expecting a baby icon SPC. I hope that EA proved me wrong. That would be amazing and everything would drop in price. They're going to re release probably like some random cards. Like what what do we have here? Like Vieri, Zanetti, Zola. I would expect like a Van der Sar. Uh, who else? Um, you know, just it's those types of icons. I can't see like the, the bigger ones just yet. Not around Christmas time anyway. They want to be focusing on like the Footmas uh, promo and stuff like that. But anyway, boys, we have ourselves a new flashback, which is Danny Alves. We've got this uh, Gignac <laughs> SBC. Oh, God. I don't want him. A three star, three star, six foot two, 94 strength. Doesn't look unplayable, but just doesn't really suit the style and what I want from my striker. But this foot swap deal is exactly what we're going to unlock. So we already have one which was given out free at the start of the month. This is the second, and I need another four. And I'm thinking, am I going to be getting four before the weekly starts? No. So that's one of the reasons why I went out and purchased Kante as well. Not only to get Kim to Hazard, but I need a CDM to play alongside Willow Bogey. So this is the one. Let's claim him. Get into the club. So this is our current team until tomorrow. Thursday when we receive the div rivals and foot champ packs if it's anything like last week We're gonna be making like 500,000 coins I don't expect to make as much as that But if we do like two team of the week packs two 100 K's and if we take the coins from div rivals Then I'll be able to comfortably afford Ramos bring him back into the starting 11 and I don't really understand his price like Mbappe We purchased him for 355 He's gone up as expected over the past couple of weeks to like 400,000 You've got um, Raphael Varane that we purchased for 163. He's gone up for like 220. And then Ramos was like 270, and he hasn't really gone up. He's, in fact, he went down because I pushed him for 279, and then I sold him for like 278. I know it's only 1,000 coins, but you get what I mean. His price has kept stable, so I thought sacrifice him, use those coins to go and purchase best. And look at this guy, 1,215,000, four star, four star, medium, medium, five foot nine, and that is my kind of player. Ned Fed, get out of the spot. Bring this man in with the agility, 94 agility, the ball control, the dribbling, the composure, the stamina, the jumping. And do you know where I'm actually thinking about playing him? He has the same stamina as Hazard, and Hazard is perfectly fine in that wide position. Why not bring Hazard into the middle and then get use out of best jumping and heading accuracy when I'm whipping those LBXs back post like the lofted uh, passes or crosses and the finishing is there, the shot power, the long shots. I'm really going to like this guy. I love best, you know. He has been one of the best players I've ever used on Ultimate Team and that, pr well, it was just a prime best uh, at the time on FIFA uh, 17 absolutely loved him so he's gonna yeah be played as you know what i'm gonna change it now i'm actually gonna put him as a left attacking mid and i didn't show you my custom tactics in the last episode i totally forgot so this is what i've been using right now so that's how I'm going to set it out. I'm going to replace Allen straight away. I'll bring on Felipe Anderson, who's been incredible for me. I know, that, I know that he's been shortlisted to receive like a player of the month, but he's not going to get it. It's between Sané and Sterling realistically. I'd like a Sterling card if they add to his shot power, the long shots, and just make him a little bit better in front of goal because what they released him as, his base card, was embarrassing. Like, it wasn't really fair uh, to the guy. But these are my custom tactics. So I've been using balance. I may experiment with uh, pressure after heavy touch or press, uh, yeah, pressure on heavy touch. But I've been using balance. Like this is what helped me get uh, 27 wins. I like fast build up play. And I know it's not for everybody. You do get caught on the counter. But what I need in a 4 2 3 1 is for my players to support the play as quickly as they can because that's my style of play. Then I have my drop back tactic. So, this is when I'm wanting to play that counter attacking style. Everyone's behind the ball, quick, snappy attacks, and it does work well. And then I've got the 4 3 3 4, and I do actively use this formation. It's really nice. It helps against the 4 2 3 1, in my opinion, or from what I've seen uh, being used against me. And I like it myself. It has a lot of width to it it's still got those um attacking plays down the middle because you've got a middle cam and a striker it's just a very good formation to help uh, create a few things so constant pressure like that's really to get back into a game i don't use the 
three, four, two, one anymore. Well, if I need to, but I just don't really switch into that. So it's, it's, it's these two. That's what I'm using right now. I want to experiment though today with pressure on heavy touch to see how we can uh, perform with that. And let's get into Div Rivals. Let's go and smash it. Let me apply fitness. And I am still in Division 3 because I got relegated last week. I had the same, well, the correct points to stay in Div 2, but it relegated me to Div 3. Maybe because I was making too many coins from those rewards. But get me back there. We've got to go win some games. George Best, are you ready? Let's smash it. Here we go. Best versus Cruyff. Which icon is coming out on top? Mine. Best. Let's go. Looking at this guy's team, he knows like what he's doing with this uh, meta side. He's got all of the correct players, but that's what you would expect in these higher divisions. Best wants it. Best really wants it. Wow. This isn't right. Welcome back, the hero of FIFA 17. It's taken him two minutes of the first game to find the back of the net. Oh, that's a great pass. Damn. Both icons on the score sheet already. That's good build up. I might have to change my tactics against this guy. It's gone through my legs. That's a great pass. Adan. I did move him a little bit. What a save. It's still going to go in. Nah, good header. 1-1 one, one at the break in a very close game he's had better pass accuracy he's had more possession but it hasn't really been one of those to show much that's in god's sake man damn i need to close him down a little bit better yeah he's 100 percent using drop back tactic that's it finish come on good goal that's it the 4-3-3 three, three i've switched into yes spread the play now I'll switch back into my uh, 4 2 3 one. Good stuff. Oh, that finish. Go on, Hazard. So now, yeah, Hazard's gone back into the middle, that middle cam. Dude, is this the perfect setup right now? Little through ball. Go on, Hazard. That's it. That power, the pace from Hazard actually running through the middle is pretty nice to have. And then George Best, when he pings one, it's coming. Another George Best goal. Come on, please. Uh, back post. Uh, no, no, we'll just play around here. Attack that. Vran. Should have been game over. It's in a game like this where I've got to start slowing it down. Or learning from my mistakes. The positioning. Don't laugh. Don't laugh at him. Come on. Stop that right now. <laughs> that key for movement. He thought I was going to go for that first time finesse. Mm, nah. I don't want to do that. I, I want to just pop it into an open goal. Thank you very much, Mbappe. Four goals with the new team and one goal for George Best. Debut, always going to score. And that guy was pretty good, though. Defensively sound. He was using drop back and I couldn't find space. I had to switch into a 4-3-3 to get myself back into the game. And then I went back into the 4-2-3-1 and started controlling it again. That was a good win. So with that win, are we back to... Division 2. Give me Division 2, for Christ's sake. Yo, hold on a minute. Skill rate in 2,230. Surely that's Division 2. Yeah. Woo. Let's go. So next week, well, hopefully I don't get relegated now. But next week, we're going to be getting those 50k packs. I'll make sure of it. But this week, do I want to take the coins or what should we do? Because looking at the actual rewards right now on offer... If I stay in this rank, I'm getting 53,000 coins or some crappy packs, like really bad. Actually, is that, oh, prime mixed players. So I'm guessing like, I don't know, silvers, uh, silvers, bronzes. No, I don't want that. I might just try and get into the rank one position and get myself the 70,000 coins or 53. Probably going to take the coins uh, given that we're getting ourselves a load of packs through Elite One Foot of Champs. That's what I'm doing. But let's go to game two and a clash of icons once again. Best versus Rio. Well, at legit best versus Rio. Pressure on a heavy touch. And I just feel like it takes my players out of position when I could have just manually read that. So I don't think that it's for me right now. It's not bad though. Sometimes it really does help you out, but for the most part, I think it's just carrying my players out of position. That was good dribbling. Hazard. 
outside of the foot. Having him in the middle, wow. I don't feel like I'm missing Griezmann right now. And then George Best down the line, running up and down the pitch. This could be the setup on the edge of the box. Head it back in. Oh, no, he's got Ramos. That's not going to work. Yo, I scored a goal like that this weekend, though. On the edge of the box, head it back into the middle. And then just score, like, the rebound. It works. Oh, my God. I'm being really annoying for him right now on the edge of the box because Hazard can turn so quick. He doesn't know if I'm going to finesse it. And he keeps moving his keeper. All of these guys in the top division do that. Nah, don't do it when Hazard's around. So he thought I was going to, like, carry it and just ping a finesse. I'm actually going to whip it front post. It's all right. Got that rebound. It's always this man, though, Longley. In, like, the best positions. But he's not going to score that. Unlucky Hazard. Good stuff, though. I've only had 82% pass accuracy in this match. I feel like the reason for it is I'm so close to his box and I'm trying to play those intricate passes. We're dominating right now. And he is defending for his life. Can't say. Play this one short. Back to him on the edge. Oh, that positioning. Nah. Oh, no. Varane, that would have been an easy goal for you to score. Good pass. Oh, my. It's game over. At the back, we've been very strong. In the attack, I know we've scored three goals, but it hasn't been perfect. We've been a little bit wasteful in possession, but defending very well. And that's it. Game over, 3-0, and three goals for Hazard. If anything, this change of bringing in Best as a left attacking mid to be playmaking down that uh, left-hand side has brought so much more out of Hazard being that middle cam. This is a good change. So the goal right now for me is to get George Best on full chemistry. And to do that, I'm going to have to start him as the right winger. Mbappe is going to be on seven cam. But the issue is, how am I going to complete the team? I could change up the formation because he gets a strong link to Lala. Guilavogi, he's going to be off chem. And he'll have another dead link because I'll repurchase Ramos tomorrow. How am I going to finish off the team? And by the way, Hazard in the middle, he has come alive. Like, honestly, playing him as a left attacking mid, wonderful. No issues at all. But being brought into the middle, like playmaking a little bit more, getting used out of his tight turns, he's one of the best forward out on the ball. So that opens up for the left-footed finesses or the right-footed finesses so quick. And then your opponents are like double, like second guessing, you know? They don't know which way to move their keeper. And he's scoring a lot because of that. I don't know what I'm going to do down the left-hand side. I don't mind getting rid of Alexandra if it means I'm able to create, like, full chemistry. Alan, I'm not even using. I've got Guilavogi and Kante as my two CDMs. And how is Kante performing not having Makelele in the team? He's doing all right. And for his price, 367, he's a good card. There's nothing wrong with him. I just prefer Makelele. But for now, bringing in George Best as the left attacking mid it is working really, really nice. I just don't want to push Mbappe out wide again. He doesn't make a good right attacking mid. It's playable, but I prefer him central, getting the goals. So it's really this position here, they have to be played as a right attacking mid. Who is it? How are we going to finish it off? Or unless I switch up the formation and I bring in another winger off chem? I don't know, man. That's where I'm at right now. But boys, we're going to end it there. Tomorrow, there will be a dedicated video for the foot champs and div rival rewards on the channel all part of the rtg don't miss it let's see how many coins we've got to work with to finish off the team up before the weekly starts thank you very much for watching george best welcome to the series welcome to the account and i will see you in the next one see you now peace